Hello guys, Softony here and welcome back to another exciting video tutorial. I'm thrilled to have you join me on this creative journey as we dive into the fascinating world of After Effects. Alright, in today's session we will be diving deep into advanced technique and practical tips to help you level up your motion graphics and to create this black and white awesome typography. But before we jump in be sure to give that like button and friendly tap to show your support. And also if you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of my future uploads. Alright without any further ado let's get started and create some inspiring visuals here in After Effects. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and first like always let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or this little icon here to create a new comp. Uh, this is gonna be full HD comp, frame rates uh, 30 frames per second, for composition name type whatever you want but I will rename it as usual final, duration it's okay to leave it to maybe around 10 seconds. And then hit OK and our next step is to drag and drop our media o1 here in our final comp uh, this is free footage from pexels.com but of course you can import your own media your own footage it completely depends on you drag and drop into our final comp and now it's time to make a few adjustments uh, right click here in our finals go new and create here uh, adjustment layer for the adjustment layer hit enter and i will rename it to triton and then hit OK uh, here in effects and preset uh, find here Triton effect drag and drop onto our adjustment layer and uh, now we will make adjustments for our mid tones Ch uh, change here to black or white uh, colors according your uh, footage here in, in our finals you can also play around uh, with the highlights or shadows but I recommend just to play around with mid tones but I will do maybe here uh, this kind of uh, gray one. Hit OK and now for blending modes from this uh, normal change here to overlay and also hit again here on adjustment layer and then hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and instead of overlay find here normal. And now as you can see we have this uh, black and white footage of our uh, forest here in our finals. Okay, now it's time to create our titles. Uh, you can use shape layers, but I uh, prefer to use solid layers. Go right click, uh, find here a uh, solid layer. I will rename, rename it to shape 01, also full HD, hit OK. And then as you can see, we have this uh, black solid. Uncheck this uh, visibility for this shape 01 for now. Uh, hit Q on your keyboard or go here on this uh, rectangle tool just make sure to select this shape 01 also you can turn on this uh, titles and action safe and draw a shape like here here in our uh, finals and as you can see now when we turn on the visibility we also have uh, this uh, cool shape you can move it down a bit uh, it completely depends on you and also now it's time to animate our shape 01 uh, hit P for position or go here on this little triangle, find it here in transform and for position set up our first keyframe here, uh, move it uh, to the left like so, to maybe around here uh, and then go to around 2 seconds and drag uh, our shape on the right side, you can also hold shift while you're dragging this uh, shape of 1 on the right side. And now when we hit zero, we have animation like this. Uh, we made here one mistake, instead of uh, this uh, first keyframe, it should be this one. Just select them, then right click, go to keyframe assistant and find here time reverse keyframes. And now when we hit zero, we have an, an animation like this. Also uh, grab uh, all of our keyframes, hit F9 uh, for easy ease, go to graph editor. And if you can find curve like this, so right click and find here edit speed graph and we will draw a curve like so. And now in our finals when we hit zero we have something like this. Okay, and now it's time to also create our text, hit Ctrl plus T or go here on this uh, little icon horizontal type tool 
and I will just type random text creative like so hit V here uh, in our uh, finals to just uh, reposition our creative text uh, just make sure that your text size is really close to this uh, shape 01 uh, layer I'm using this uh, sign extra font uh, for the font size I'm using this uh, one uh, 100 pixels okay and now it's time to readjust our creative text here in our finals like so and then just uh, find here uh, this little uh, pick whip and parent it with this shape 01 and now when we hit zero uh, our uh, creative text uh, is going to follow this uh, uh, shape 01 and this is looking really awesome in our finals just go here fit up uh, 100 hit zero and this is looking really cool for me okay it's also time to make a further adjustment here in our finals grab this creative uh, text and shape 01 then right click find here pre-compose and i will rename it just text 01 make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit ok uh, then you can go uh, here in our text 01 uh, comp you can go composition composition settings or control plus k and you can uh, lower uh, lower down this uh, height to maybe around 150 hit ok go uh, back here again in our finals and now what we can do is to duplicate this text 01 hit ctrl plus d here in our finals uh, also here in the project hit ctrl plus d hold alt on your keyboard and drag and drop this text 02 here on our text 01 and then uh, use arrows on your keyboard uh, move it up or down like so for a few times maybe here also uh, duplicate uh, this text 02 once again this is going to be text 03 uh, also duplicate here in our timeline and uh, repeat the process just hold alt drag and drop here in our text 02 uh, we're doing this because uh, now we can change our text 01 also text 02 and 3 we will reposition our text 3 maybe here or so and now we will go in each of our composition and change our text for this uh, uh, first text uh, i will just rename it to inspire you will also of course type your own text you can also uh, hit v on your keyboard for position move it to a left a bit and now as you can see in our finals we have this inspired text and also for this uh, second one we will uh, rename it uh, to evolve also hit p for position move it to the left and now in our finals we have something like this maybe to move to the left just a little bit like here and for this third text instead of creative i will just type create and in our finals also reposition here hit p move it to the left like so maybe to move to the left a little bit more and now when we hit zero we have something like this and our final step is just to reposition our text 01 this may be to go 10 frames ahead third one 20 and now when we hit zero we have something like this of course you can play around maybe to instead of 10 uh, try to 5 and 10 and then when we hit zero we have this really cool text and really cool animation of course you can play around uh, if you want that our uh, first text go first and then this one and then third one but for me this is looking really cool and it's not hard to create and accomplish this uh, really cool black and white typography okay all right guys uh, that wraps our tutorial for today i hope you find these tips and techniques uh, helpful here in after effects uh, don't forget to put what you have learned into practice and get creative with your own motion graphics and these effects if you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this feel free to leave a comment down below and remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial 
and also uh, to subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of my future content. And uh, thanks for joining me and until next time, stay creative and bye bye.